Hello and welcome to this Canva business card tutorial where I'm going to show you how to pick a great template for you and then of course design it so you can get something of great quality. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if, and if you click that, you can actually try out Canva for free and test out some business card creations. Let's begin. So when it comes to templates, something I talked about previously when going through many of them, you want to look for something where it has pretty much the vibe you're looking for. The colors you can always change, the pictures you can always change. It's more of the layout that you're looking for here. So like me personally, I love the minimalist type of stuff where there's not a whole lot to edit. Maybe you want one that has a picture. You might be looking for that. And keep in mind that many of these will have a front and back. However, there's one specifically that I liked. It, you have to utilize the pro to get it, but you can always choose a different one. I'm going to go with this. And what I like about this one is that it's just, it's super simple. Obviously it doesn't have to be for real estate, but in this example, I'm just going to pretend I'm a real estate agent, even though I'm not. So let's get right down to it. If you want to edit the back, I will do that after. But nevertheless, let's start with the front first. And what we want to do here is just simply add our name. And since that's going to be very easy to do, I am now a real estate agent just like that. Just kidding, I'm not. But for this example, I am, okay? So that would be the name. If you wanted to change around the font or anything like that, obviously we have that right here. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. That's going to be up to you. Of course, we have this little house here up top. It is kind of hitting the L a little, so actually not move it down that much but right about there looks lovely right so that would be the front of it let's move to the next one on the other side and once again we can change the obvious stuff perfect real estate agent hello at you know and you don't have to go through this or i don't have to go through this your website would be here whatever it is you can change it to that same thing with the email and of course really great site maybe that's your instagram and of course your location so now here we have a picture let's go with uploads i'm going to utilize this i'm going to make it a lot bigger oops let's undo that <laughs> grab the wrong thing there there we go can make it much bigger and normally you'd probably want to use say like this wouldn't be a great picture to use with it but you'll notice how this is really related like color wise it looks great I keep dragging the wrong thing, so let's highlight that. And we can plop that in right there. I can make it even bigger if I need to. Something like that. And that would go there. Of course, we do have the magic erase tool tool if you want to get rid of that. So I do have a separate video about that. But in a nutshell, like very easily, that's how you can quickly go about creating a business card. Now, I'm going to use a different example. I know that was fast, but that's the idea here. Every time I use templates, whether it be not just for like business cards, but like say even landing pages, I love using ones that already have kind of the template in mind that I want to use. You look at this one, it's simple, not a lot going on. Name, what you're doing, a little house to represent real estate. And then it just simply comes down to editing. So let me just do another one very quickly. Maybe one that has like a picture, say for this, what does the back look like? Pretty simple stuff, like you would put your logo there. This one, once again, very minimal, like that. Let's edit it. Very right, cool. So let's use a picture. Let's drag it right in there. Have one as already. Perfect. Let's do the name. You have to make that a little bit smaller. So what we can do is, what? Perfect, probably move it down a little just so it's in line. Looks great. And of course, same thing here. We could add, just add in your double click, add in your site, add in where you are located, your phone number and your other website. Well, that's your email, excuse me, email, website there. Of course, on the back we have your name. Have to stretch that out a little as well, just so it, uh, Actually, let's do this all the way so it's centered. Perfect, right in the middle. So, and just like that, literally, that's the idea that I, I wanna run by you. I know it, it just looks simple, it sounds simple. There's other things you can do with it, but when you start with a design that you really like, it's gonna make your life so much easier. You could also make this a transparent picture in case you wanted, I think it looks better like this with the white in the background, otherwise it'd look like I was just a floating head. But aside from that, I hope you got some value out of this video. The idea is, once again, reiterate, find a template that's very similar to what you wanna work with, add in the appropriate things, the picture, the name, you know what you're doing. Obviously, if you're not doing real estate, you 
you could change the personal trainer, whatever it's going to be. Then of course, change around your email, your number, your website, where you live, and you should be good to go. That's how you can very quickly, easily the front and back of a uh, Canva business card. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have the link down below in case you want to test out Canva for free and create many of your own business cards that you can utilize. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next one.